hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we called our add to wishlist api in our angular application and then we created the api to get all wishlist products in our spring boot application and in today's video we will call this get wishlist products by user api in our angular application and then we will create order tracking api in our spring boot application so let's get started so in our angular application first of all we need to create a new component so in the customer module we will right click on the component folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and here we need to give the command which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as view wish list and as you can see our component is ready now let's open the customer routing file and we need to create a new route and to do that we can duplicate our product route and in the path we need to replace it with wish list and for the component we need to replace it with view wish list component now let's save our routing file and now we need to create the api call so we will open our service folder and we will open our customer service and here let's duplicate this add product to wishlist api and after this we need to update the name and we will write get wishlist by user and then we need to remove this dto from the params and from the request body and after this we need to get the user id so we will create a constant variable here and we will name this as user id and here we will call our user storage service dot get user id method and after this we need to update the method of our call from post to get and then we need to pass this user id in the path so after the wish list we will put a slash and here we can pass our user id our get wish list by user api call is completed now let's save this file and let's open our wish list component and first of all we will open the ts file and here we need to create a variable to store the products and we will name this variable as products and the type of this will be any array and we can initialize it with an empty array and after this we need to create the constructor for this component and here we need to inject our customer service so we can call the apis and we need to import this here as well and after this we will write a method and we will name this method as get wishlist by user id and here we will use our customer service and we will call get wishlist by user id method and then we will subscribe the response and after getting the response we need to update the image of the product so we can show it to user so we will apply a for each loop on our res and then let's remove this array from here and in the body of this for each loop we will call element dot and we will name the updated image as processed image and here we need to paste the string which we want to attach and then we need to call element dot returned image which we are getting from our backend application and at the end we need to push this element in the products array so we will use dot push method and we will pass element and after this we will create the ng on init method and in this ng on init method we will call our get wishlist by user id method and with this our ts file is completed now let's save this file and let's open our html file and here we need to write a div and we will give it a class of center container and after this we will write another div and we will give it a class of product cart and after this we will apply ng for loop and we will use let keyword and we will name single product as product and after of keyword we will mention products which is the variable in our ts file 
and after the for loop first of all we need to show the image of the product so we will use the image tag and in the source we will bind product dot processed image after the image of the product we need to show the other details and we will create a div and we will give it a class of product details and in this product details first of all we will show the name which we can access by product dot product name and we will use h2 tag and after the name we will show the description and the price of the image so we will use p tags to show them and with this our html file is completed now let's save this file and let's open our css file i will paste the css code here and you can pause the video and you can copy the css code or you can write your own code and after this let's save our css file and let's write the command to run our application which is npm start and as you can see our application is up without any error now let's go to the browser and let's view the wishlist page and on the login page i added the email and password of the customer now let's click on this login button and after this we will click on this wishlist button and as you can see here we are getting one product which we added in the previous video now let's go to our backend application and let's create the api to track the order and to create the tracking api we need to create a method in our card service implementation so let's open this and at the end of this class we will start writing our method and this method will return order dto and we can name this method as search order by tracking id and then in the params we need to mention uuid and we can name this as tracking id and in the body of this method we will create an optional variable and this should be of type order and we can name this as optional order and we will call our order repository dot find by tracking id method and in the params we will pass tracking id after getting the optional order we will write one if condition and we will check our optional order by calling is present method and if it is true then we will write the return statement and we will use our optional order and we will call get method and after the get we need to convert it to dto so we will call get order dto method and if our order is not present then we will write return statement and we will return null from here and after this we need to create this method in the order repository so let's open our order repository and the return type of this method will be optional of order and here we need to write the jpa query which is find by tracking id and in the params of this method we will mention uuid and we will name this as tracking id and now let's import this uuid here and now let's go back to our card service implementation and here we need to copy this and we will mention in the card service and after this we need to write the endpoint for this api so we will right click on our controller package and we will create a new java class and we will name this class as tracking controller and after this we need to give the annotation of rest controller and we will give the annotation for required augs constructor and after this we need to inject our card service so we will write private final and here we will mention our card service and we will name this as card service after creating the object of the card service here we can start writing our method and this method will return a response entity and here we need to mention our order dto and we can name this method as search order by tracking id 
and after this we need to give at the rate path variable annotation and we will mention uuid and we will name this as tracking id and in the body of this method we will create a new order dto and we will call our cart service dot search order by tracking id method and in the params we will pass tracking id and after this let's remove these brackets from here and we will write one if condition and we will check our order dto and if it is equal to null we will write return statement and we will return response entity and we will call not found method and then we will build it and if our order dto is not null then we will return response entity dot ok and in the body we will pass our order dto and at the end we need to give get mapping annotation and for the path we will set it as slash order slash tracking id and our order tracking api is completed now let's run our application again and as you can see here our application is up without any errors and that's it for this video in the next video we will create a page and we will call this order tracking api from our angular application